Idaho. 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 After more than a century of operation, this legendary site still had deposits waiting to be uncovered. In the sprawling expanse of the American West, a red alert ripples silently across the high desert plateaus and windswept grasslands of Idaho. For decades, this land has been a stone-clad stronghold, vast, unyielding, and indelibly marked by time. But as the mercury rises to unprecedented levels and warning systems flash across continents, Idaho's ancient landscapes are revealing signs of distress that were once hidden beneath the veneer of sagebrush and basalt. Communities across North America are coming to grips with air and water pollution catastrophic floods and temperature records broken with alarming frequency. For Idaho's high plateau, the pressing threat is neither flood nor fire in the classic sense, but a slow, steady warming, a change profound enough to awaken geological and environmental forces buried for millennia. This is no ordinary summer, nor a fleeting sign of the times. As more red alert heat warnings flood news feeds from Europe to the Rockies, a fundamental question emerges. How is this rise in temperature transforming Idaho's seemingly eternal ground? Are ancient secrets being uncovered, layered deep in the earth and etched in newfound cracks, just as novel dangers quietly emerge beneath our feet? What mysteries lie in the stone and soil of the gem state's iconic landforms? And what might these fissures foretell about our shared future? The Idaho Plateau, born of fire, shaped by time. To understand what's at stake, we must first trace Idaho's landscape story, a high rolling stretch of volcanic basalt that forms the Snake River Plain, anchoring the state's southern reach. The plateau, sometimes compared to the more famous Colorado Plateau to the south, is a witness to ancient upheavals. Colossal volcanic eruptions sculpted the Snake River Plain blanketing thousands of square miles in thick flows of dark rock and sending ash into prehistoric skies. For millions of years, this region has stood as a testament written in stone. Its basalt columns, lava tubes, and wide expanses of steppe intertwine with river canyons and foothills. Particularly, the Snake River stands out, winding through the plateau. It has carved deep canyons like Hell's Canyon the deepest river gorge in North America, exposing layers of time and geological activity along its path. A closer look beneath Idaho's sagebrush reveals a tapestry of volcanic history. Each layer of basalt tells of different eruptive episodes, while soils deposited by rivers and wind record the movement of ancient waters and glacial outflows. Sites like Craters of the Moon, National Monument, showcase surreal lava fields and cinder cones, reminders that this landscape has been tumultuous for eons, long before people first tended its soils or traveled its canyons. Both fire and water have shaped the region over time. The course of the Snake River is more than a physical divide. It's a narrative threaded through the plateau's formation, where ancient waters and windswept soil met layers of volcanic rock. This is a region that erases and rewrites itself through the slow churn of natural change. Climate, too, has left its mark. Dry summers, cold winters, and sparse rainfall define the area, giving rise to a resilient but sparse ecology. Grasses, sagebrush, and scattered juniper have evolved to survive here, supporting pronghorn, coyote, and countless species finely tuned to cycles of scarcity and abundance. Ancient inhabitants, Shoshone and Bannock peoples, adopted lives and traditions that harmonized with the land's constraints, cultivating a deep knowledge of its fleeting gifts and enduring hardships. Even on this landscape of deep history, however, something new is stirring. As global temperatures edge upward and warnings echo from scientific journals to local forecasts, the plateau is compelled to reveal once hidden weaknesses. What happens when land forged by fire and preserved in cold begins to fracture beneath the pressure of invisible heat?
cracks beneath the surface, the subtle language of change. The story of rising temperatures is often narrated in numbers, shifts in degrees, broken records from year to year. But here, on the Idaho Plateau, change can be felt and seen. Cracks, fissures, and shifting ground. The physical language of a landscape under duress. What do these cracks mean? Are they simply the scars of ancient earthquakes and past volcanism? Or do they herald a new era of instability catalyzed by today's climate? Heat waves intensify, driving cycles of expansion and contraction in rock and soil that may now outpace historic patterns. Water, once seeping quietly through fractured basalt, evaporates more quickly under prolonged warmth, sometimes leaving behind voids and vulnerable substrates. These subtle shifts, repeated year after year, compound into slow but powerful geological forces. Recent work by geoscientists and highlighted in publications such as Geophysical Research Letters supports the idea that climate-driven processes can contribute to observable fractures and ground deformation across North American plateaus. These aren't the aftershocks of distant quakes, but the result of altered heating, increased dryness, and changes in underground aquifers, all working quietly to unsettle the ground. Locals are noticing. Farmers report that fields breathe, buckling and settling differently each season. Hikers see abrupt, fresh fissures in once solid earth. Ranchers in Owehee County describe sudden, gaping cracks running along rangeland slopes, wide enough for a boot and long enough to raise concern. Phenomena rare in past decades, but increasingly familiar now. Red alert warnings may command urgent attention, yet in nature, crisis often begins as a whisper. What slow-moving forces now shape the Idaho Plateau? Could today's cracks presage deeper disruptions ahead? Rising temperatures, a catalyst for the unexpected, as red alert heat warnings make headlines across Europe and North America alike, Idaho's plateau stands at the dividing line between global and local change. The scientific consensus confirms higher average temperatures are more than a discomfort. They can alter the mechanism that hold landscapes together. Prolonged warmth speeds up surface evaporation, drawing away not only moisture, but the cohesion that stabilizes soil. In an already arid region, even modest increases in average temperatures can tip the scales toward greater vulnerability. Worryingly, this isn't just about drying out the soil. As ground temperatures climb, rocks, particularly those that form the signature basalt layers of the plateau, are susceptible to thermal fracturing. This process, triggered as rocks repeatedly expand and contract with rapid heating and cooling, can lead to the subtle breakdown of their structural integrity. Over time, this creates or enlarges cracks, influencing how water moves and pools below the surface. Such cracks don't just mar the surface, they signal a rearrangement of the land itself. As climate change accelerates, fissures can deepen, widen, and sometimes join forces, raising the risks of more noticeable events. Landslides, sinking ground, and surprising exposures of older geologic layers as the surface yields to underlying weakness. This is seen in practical term. Highways may buckle in the punishing afternoon sun while culverts and buried utilities struggle against shifting subsoil. Agricultural irrigation, once based on assumptions of level and stable ground, increasingly demands attention and adjustment. In places, livestock paths and access roads ripple and sink, a challenge for both ranchers and the communities depending on these lifelines. What unseen boundaries are shifting and how many red alerts must sound before minor cracks announce larger changes to come? Waters whisper, subterranean networks, and vanishing resources. Beneath the Idaho Plateau, hidden networks of water wind through ancient lava tubes and aquifers, remnants of both volcanic eruptions and ice age floods. These underground reservoirs sustain agriculture and foster unique ecosystems adapted to cycles of darkness, moisture, and shifting minerals. But as temperatures rise and rainfall patterns shift, these vital reservoirs face mounting pressure. Water tables, once reliably restored by snowmelt, 
or steady runoff now fluctuate, at times surging in rare storms, more often receding to new lows under prolonged drought. Cracks, in this context, are more than superficial flaws. They are pathways guiding water through or away from the aquifers and root zones that sustain life. As soils dry further, they may lose cohesion resulting in slumping ground and subsidence. Signs of these changes appear above ground. Fields sag in unexpected places. Home foundations develop new splits, and some springs fall silent. While these changes may seem sudden to the untrained eye, hydrologists see cumulative process set in motion by heat and dryness worsening across decades. Water, the lifeblood of plateau life, may now be slipping away invisibly along fissures opened by warming trends. Farmers and orchardists feel the impact. Near Emmett, some have watched dependable irrigation ditches dwindle as underground water bypasses the surface through expanding fissures. For those living near the edges of Idaho's desert, the notion of water vanishing below ground is becoming an everyday concern. If water resources are drained by a network of expanding cracks, does that mark a fragile new era for the plateau? Ecological unraveling, grassland, sage, and plateau creatures. The ecosystem of Idaho's plateau, a tough, beautiful web of grasses, sagebrush, and scattered trees, has always been one of adaptation to harsh cycles. From the high prairies to river canyons, plants and animals have survived through both lean and lush years. But even these time-tested survivors are showing signs of strain as relentless warmth sets in. Vegetation that once secured thin soils now contends with widening cracks and increasingly parched conditions. Roots may lose access to stable moisture, giving way to bare dust and rock. The shift can be subtle, a gradual decline in native grasses or a sudden fade of wildflowers. But the end result is a landscape more vulnerable to wind erosion and invasion by non-native species. Biodiversity hotspots, including the Kamas Prairie, and Oihi uplands provide stark evidence. Botanists are charting changes in plant communities, reporting new incursions of cheatgrass and tumbleweed, which are more competitive but less beneficial to native species. As soils break apart, wildflower blooms wither early, and seeds scatter across fissured ground. Now, as cracks disrupt water flows and fragment grasslands, migration corridors constrict and food chains are thrown into disarray. Bird populations, such as curlews and doe-witchers, may find fewer resting grounds as wetlands shrink and pond edges crack. Amphibians, so sensitive to water loss, can be driven from shrinking pools that drain more quickly through the fractured ground. Cracks in the human fabric, community, infrastructure, and response. For Idahoans living on the plateau, farmers, ranchers, small-town residents, these shifts are real and close to home. Foundations crack, roads develop new dips and humps where ground has moved, and well water is no longer as predictable or abundant as it once was. This affects livelihoods directly. Farmers and ranchers who have depended on the same water sources and land contours for generations face plans upended and investments put at risk. Local governments take up the challenge, dealing with water rights disputes, infrastructure repairs, and the growing costs of insurance claims tied to ground instability. Across North America, similar patterns emerge, from the Carolinas to Oregon, as communities collectively recognize the interlocking crises of rising heat, declining water resources, and unstable ground. Regional hazard mitigation plans, such as those developed in places like Hood River County, Oregon, or King County in Washington, emphasize building resilience, physical, economic, and social. But in Idaho, preparedness is more than infrastructure. It's a philosophical shift. Communities are confronting the challenge of anticipating change, learning to recognize early warnings, and sharing information across generations and professions. Local initiatives are emerging. Neighborhood groups collaborate to monitor wells and track changes in fields home, and water systems, grants and university-led projects engage residents in citizen science, lending local knowledge to research and creating new tools for monitoring and prediction. On the government and technical front, 
Technologies like satellite mapping, drones, and soil sensors are increasingly used to detect and document ground movements. Scientific Vigil Tracking Idaho's Hidden Faults Scientific teams now watch Idaho's plateau with renewed urgency. Drawing on global expertise, they study climate-linked geological changes in regions traditionally seen as stable. Idaho's evolving landscape has become a focal point for investigating how rising temperatures may influence ground conditions in volcanic plateau lands. Academic research, often featured in geophysical research letters and similar outlets, highlights the value of modern tools, ground-penetrating radar, seismic instrumentation, and advanced thermal imaging for detecting slow changes beneath the surface. Laboratories monitor shifts in soil chemistry, water content, and rock stability, building data sets that pair high-tech observation with on-the-ground reporting from residents. Public engagement plays a powerful role. Schools integrate geology and climate science into their curriculums. Outreach programs encourage young Idahoans to read the land, to recognize and interpret the subtle signals of shifting earth. Warnings from afar, global context for a local crisis. What is unfolding in Idaho resonates far beyond its borders. With Europe grappling with heat waves and red alert warnings issued for record-breaking temperatures, and with water and land management under strain across continents, Idaho's experience is not an outlier. It's part of a broader pattern, a world system tested by shifting climate extremes. Similarities appear in unexpected cracks and water shortages from one plateau to another, from American grasslands to Eurasian steppes. The tools and strategies that Idaho explore, regional cooperation, technological monitoring, public engagement are echoed across global communities invested in learning from each other. A new era written in stone. Idaho's plateau stands at a crossroads, its new scars and fissures, a visible record of ancient forces and emerging threats. Perhaps the most important lesson lies in the willingness to listen to the land, to accept that even ancient landscapes can change and that vigilance and cooperation are essential to endurance. As the heat rises and the ground shifts, the world faces a choice. Will we act on the quiet warnings written into our earth or wait until the cracks become canyons? We invite you, our listeners, to share your thoughts. How should communities prepare for a future where the ground is no longer as steady as it once seemed? Have you observed changes in your own backyard? Cracks? Shifts? or subtle symptoms of a warming world? Share your experiences and questions in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications for more explorations into the hidden histories and unfolding futures etched into landscapes everywhere. The next red alert may be closer to home than you think.